Hello and welcome to Germany. I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales on board the all new Axopar 45 with the aft cabin. I'm gonna take you guys on a detailed walkthrough tour on this 45, so let's go take a look. All right, so starting here at the bow of the 45, we're taking a look at just how much of a weapon this boat is. That's the 37 actually right next to it. The 45, it's kind of hard to tell with the uh, wide angle lens here, but 45 dwarfs that 37. Got the boats charging here in the morning. So here we've got one of the first uh, features that you've seen on some of the other walkthrough tours. This get a look here at how this mechanism works. We have the Dyneema line holding it up there. A really nice place to sit on the side of the boat and open up the sides side decks here see it doesn't intrude much into your walk way path the 45 has the triple mercury v8 300s this has kind of been the preferred engine package on this boat with the added torque that the V8s provide. And coming in here, you've seen this on the first 45, but on the starboard side here, the optional aft wet bar. This is a really nice feature. If you're gonna find yourself grilling out here, you need the extra kitchen space versus the one inside the pilot house. So going forward to aft, we've got a refrigerator deep fridge there the Kenyan electric stove the sink and then down below here I'll show you the storage compartment it's just sort of an open storage compartment on this one you wouldn't want to put any wet gear in there as you can see open to the hall and check out this aft cabin and really cool see the reflection of the engines but you can also see into that aft cabin back there we've got a huge sunbed here and there's your hatch for ventilation down below there are two hatches there's another one forward here as well into port we've got our storage locker see the um, hose for the aft shower wash down here so taking another look in here we've got line hangers uh, this forward is the whale manual bilge pump you've got your water fill right there and then as I mentioned looking aft you can see uh, the hose for that wash down so if you don't get this optional wet bar aft here it'll be a very similar storage locker to this to the port side so um, you obviously won't have two deck wash downs um, but that's what you get just the extra storage there big American style cup holders here and another the fold down so these side doors actually We'll look here from the outside and then I can show you a little better from the inside too. But so this door slides aft, just similar to what we've got the 37 over here. Very similar. The difference is, is this aft door also slides forward. So if you're at anchor or at the dock and hanging out on your U-shaped settee back here, we can open the, the boat up on the aft end, not just in the forward end near the pilot house. I'll show you that in a second here. Get a great look at this interior the pilot house stays exactly the same on the aft cabin model just with that access to the aft cabin which i'll show you in a minute here do the rest of the exterior we've got the full mediterranean sun pad 
Again, big American style cup holders here that'll fit a Yeti. And then coming forward, we have two access hatches here too. Our anchor locker, see the big ultra stainless steel, steel anchor. And this has the folding anchor mechanism that'll come out um, and deploy that anchor onto the bow. And I've got my fold out, fold in button here, as well as windlass up and down. You can leave that anchor in the out position um, when moving from anchorage to anchorage. I don't know that you'd want to do that on a really rough day. Probably want to fold it back in. And then in here, this is obviously a European boat, but we have shore power, some of our breakers there. We have a lot more advanced breaker panel down below uh, that I'll get to in a bit. See the Psyonix night vision camera here up top. That's an option now, as well as I sort of skipped it, but we're talking about cameras, so I'll go back here again. We have the Simrad backup camera there. Check out these clever storage spots here. Um, we've got four all the way across to middle and up here for you know, storing any loose gear that you want outside. If you're fishing, that'd be helpful. Uh, if not, I'm sure you find plenty of things to put up there. Fuel access here. Similar to the 37 and 28, um, your waist pump out right there on deck. And here at the helm, I've got this set up to the camera mode. We were just showing those. So there's my aft cockpit camera. Can actually get it on this one as well. And I believe the Psyonix forward looking is set to video one. <clears throat> there it is, video two. So there's a look at the psionics. Obviously, we've got light here in the convention center, but um, it looks pretty similar to that actually at night as well. If we had all the lights turned off in here, it wouldn't be that different. And so this pilot house is modular and set on rails. You can see down below here. So we can move this uh, kitchen module, I'm gonna call it. We can move it all the way forward and snug it up to the back uh, here. That would be a decent uh, running mode if you wanted more room back here. It's just two people on the boat. And this table is also on those rails, so you can scoot those fore and aft. If you're utilizing this aft cabin, you might want to do that uh, and scoot these forward. So I'll show you how to do that, but not before we get a look at some of the storage here. So I've got two decent sized pull out storage drawers here on the aft side. This kitchen module is designed with this bolster here so that I can sit and sort of lean against it, sitting behind the pilot and see all throughout the boat without being without sitting all the way aft. So if you have five or six people, you could have some of them here sort of using this um, kitchen module as a leaning post. So the storage on the kitchen module, we've got a Nice center pull out, uh, garbage, recycling bin here in the middle. The Kenyan two burner induction stove. This is my preferred option. You can also get a grill in here, um, but I like that Kenyan. And then we've got a big, huge sink with hot and cold water. And this boat has the isotherm fridges one on each side of the kitchen module and of course we have the one on the aft kitchen module as well and i'm going to set this up so that we can scoot it fore and aft
allow me to show you guys this aft cabin nicely. We've got the center filler cushion set up here. This is massive down below. And check it out with this big aft window here. The reading light here. Storage access. And another down below. And right across from me here on the starboard side. This does not have the optional toilet compartment here. So you could get, uh, you get a toilet here in the corner and a sink forward. It's quite small, um, but it would check the box, especially for kids. Um, if you've got a you know, bigger adult that's planning to use that back here, um, it might be a little small for that. And this filler piece in the middle comes out and this is a perfectly usable U-shaped uh, couch or settee back here to great spot for kids to hang out. Two big cup holders back there. Another one here and our another reading light. You can see storage here into the bilge. Um, this would be a wet storage area, but um, I'm assuming where a sea keeper may go eventually um, if these stairs are removable. On this table mechanism, we actually have some really cool wine glass storage. And then down below is wine bottle storage. Really nice, clever area there. This seat opens up for storage under that. And then either side of the helm here, we have our main battery switches. These seats, of course, do spin around. And then we've got this uh, access port here. This is the uh, windshield wiper wash down fluid uh, reservoir here to starboard. And some storage in there. The 45 has the JPO joystick. We've got the new throttles from Mercury. And then our, a lot of our controls are right here uh, on the steering wheel. So I've got trim to starboard, trim to port, bow down, bow up, and my bow thruster port and starboard. And then I've got audio controls over here on the right hand side. So power, volume up and down, I'll mute, fast forward. A pretty nice little setup that I think no boat has that I've seen. So that'll be interesting to see um, how usable this is underway. Um, I'm looking forward to utilizing this as kind of like a car type driving scenario, which is what they're looking for. I'm gonna hit that button to open the clamshell hatch to go down below forward. And this is pretty amazing space down here too. relative to the 37. So this is set up in uh, conversation day mode, I guess we'll call it. And so we've got the couch here forward and we've got a sink here to starboard. Nice big storage locker deep there. My jail audio controls down here. I also have control of that from the helm. Storage, I've got the filler cushion, which goes right here. We do have the gullwing doors in here. I'll show you those. I've got them closed right now. So you could see the um, how that forward looking camera looks. Um, but this filler piece goes right there.
and into the head. I've got a nice full head height head in here with the shower, hot and cold water. And the electric Tecma toilet. Nice vanity behind the mirrors there. We've got a hanging locker here and our breakers really nicely laid out. Instead of the fuses that you're used to on the 37, we have those physical breakers, which is nice to have. On both sides of the boat here, we've got lots of just shallow storage um, for whatever you might want to put in here. But it's nice to have that covered instead of just an open loop. And now I'll show you how to get into this, uh, make this into the bed here. And of course our going door access, which I showed you before. And we have this step that pops up. Um, it's the same over here on this side. The seat flips over and this step comes up to allow access up under the foredeck here. The ergonomics at the helm is something that I wanna talk about real quick. This is standing here at the helm and looking forward I feel like I'm on a 37. It's not a whole lot. It doesn't feel uh, overwhelming, even though the boat's quite a bit bigger. Um, I feel really good here at the helm and it honestly doesn't feel like I'm on a 45 foot boat. Obviously looking aft, I've got a much larger um, pilot house here than I'm used to on the 37, but very manageable boat. Um, that's. That's definitely the case. So I'll show you here. I talked about these side doors. So let me show you these real quick. And take a look at that. We'll fold the table up here. And this is from seated position aft on the u-shape we've got the openings here just a really awesome setup Thank you for watching this walkthrough tour. If you have any questions about the Axopar 45, please feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is right below the video. And if you enjoy these walkthrough tours from East Coast Yacht Sales, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button.